Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Mike here, Mike Swiller Page, 2023. Tropical season's nearing us. Uh, May 15th, the NHC starts issuing their daily outlooks. That's the 2 o'clock, 8 o'clock advisories that they put out, which means things are getting close. Uh, we do these quickie little videos. I, did, I started them last year, and they went really good. I try to upload them across all platforms. They're just uh, 5 to 10-minute short and sweet kind of go over what's going on during the day so uh something extra of course we go live in the mornings at 9 19 eastern every day starting may 15 uh, monday through friday hope to see you but uh we do have tropics to talk about believe it or not there there is there is a little bit of something to talk about nothing to get worked up about um but hey it's happened before uh what we're looking at here this is a graphic that shows uh from the weather authority uh ever uh they dating back 2007 We've had tropical storms frequently in April and May. It's very common. We had one in 2007, 2008, 2009, 12, 12, 15, 16, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 21. So doesn't mean it's going to be a busy season. doesn't mean anything other than it's kind of normal to, to have a system in May. Um, and not so normal in April, to tell you the truth. Mainly May. But... The water temperatures are very warm, and I'm going to show you that here in a little bit. So what generally happens when we get these systems, majority of them, if you notice here, in, since 2007, most of them start over here. They might start as weak areas of low, and then they all eventually kind of follow that same path to a little bit lighter shear environment. But this one's a little different. But um, you can see mo most of them have been on more of the southeast part of the U.S. there. Looking at surface analysis chart. So right now above my head, that is a frontal line that's happening right now. Today is um, Wednesday, April 5th. So pretty strong frontal line, and uh, that frontal line is going to flatten out. And uh, over the weekend, we're going to have rain across the upper Gulf, Texas, inching its way, kind of like we've had the last couple of systems. Uh, but if you look at these surface charts here, this starts on Saturday right here. This is Saturday. Uh, what you can see is that frontal line flattens out Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So the front's going to maintain some sort of characteristics, and that's generally how our early season systems start. Uh, we get a high pressure system builds into the north. Uh, that allows shear to like start to lighten up just a little bit because we don't have any incoming jet stream, any incoming fronts. So this is kind of what happens. They're, they're usually tails of fronts or parts of fronts that start uh, early early season tropical systems. Now the latest models we're going to go over here. I use uh, tropicaltidbits.com a lot, so highly recommend Levi's site. We have it linked on spaghettimodels.com. Um, GFS has been a little bit aggressive on it, but there's three models showing. So and this is our frontal line. This is over the weekend. All the all the, all the models are pretty much showing increased rain. Unfortunately, across the, the south Saturday Sunday, minus the Florida Peninsula. Florida Peninsula rains come early part of next week when this front kind of drops down just a little bit. But you can see here the GFS, this is what it's thinking. This is your frontal line, flattens out. Gulf temperatures, I'm going to show you in a little bit, warm. And uh, you get a little weak low pressure system to try to develop. Now, 1,000 millibar, you know, nothing to get too worked up about. The only positive, well, big positive, Florida's in a pretty big drought right now. And uh, any sort of tropical system like this would be very welcoming to the state. Mother Nature always finds a way to even itself out. At least I've learned living in Florida it does, at least for Florida. So here's what GFS showing. Uh, this would be in the middle part of the week. This is Tuesday. So if you notice, all that moisture shoved off to the north and to the east. Most of these early season systems are very heavily sheared, meaning upper level winds are coming in from the west, uh, southwest. And, and this is no different. So you get your core and you'll get a lot of the juice get pushed off, keeping development low as far as intensity, but allowing that moisture to, to spread east and north of center. So the GFS is showing a real realistic scenario here. 998, pretty impressive. Um, weakens it pretty quick, but you can see where that moisture kind of goes up the east coast here into the midweek here. This would be like uh, Thursday, Friday. So everything kind of gets going about Tuesday right here. On the GFS. Now that's going to wiggle wobble around. I just want to show you the latest models, get everybody set um, on the idea. Now the Icon, a very popular model that I found over the years as far as weak tropical system um, development. 
it showed it this morning. I talked a lot about this in the Daily Brew this morning, if you watch. But here's your icon showing that front go down, kind of flattens out. And then we got a little weak low pressure system starting to set up. It only runs out to about Wednesday. Again, very weak, 1010. Main point of this is moisture. Last night's uh, 00, 00 Z run, a little more organized, 1006 millibar, but you can get the idea. Same thing, sitting over that warm golf. Now, the Euro just came out. I was waiting to do one of these little videos until the Euro came out. Here's the latest Euro. Same thing, flat in front. Here we go. And this is next Monday, Tuesday. Very weak low across southern Florida, but notice the green. That's rain over Tuesday, Wednesday. And then the Euro actually develops it a little bit more. 999 over the Bahamas. This would be next uh, Wednesday, Thursday. And then it kind of races it off. Um, could bring some uh, rains to the East Coast. So, you know, this is very, very, very uh, low confidence. But confidence is brewing that we're going to have a stalled front, which means more moisture chances. And a little something, something might pop up. Last night, 00Z on the Euro showed it a little more to the north, which would mean uh, more rain for upper above Florida on the East Coast through the end of part of the week. Uh, so, you know, just, just something to talk about, you know, I want to get everybody in tune to tropics just with these little five o'clock updates, five o'clock somewhere updates. Uh, here's the water temperatures real quick. These are your anomaly map. And uh, this is just kind of showing you water temperatures are about five degrees, six degrees above normal. This is an anomaly map, meaning where they normally should be. Normally white is about normal. So everything in the Gulf's running above normal. That tells me that yes it's, far, it's possible to have some sort of weak tropicals spin up uh, and then water temps themselves definitely over this warm Gulf Stream uh, around the 80 degree range 81 degree range um, currently here's 81 80.7 81 82 81 you know we have this loop current going on right now this is your um, ocean heat potential let's show you what the loop current looks like this is the Gulf Stream that actually um, it's pumping all that warm extra water. This is the Gulf Stream and originates down the Caribbean. And it just pulls up, you know, warmer water than normal and uh, kind of helps fuel the Gulf. So, you know, not, nothing like we're talking about in the season stuff at all. This is just helping that 80 degree magic number that sometimes systems need. And then, of course, the, the shear. You know, we have a lot of upper level wind shear expected uh, through the weekend. This is um, obviously the front. This is um, next Monday. Brighter these colors, extremely strong upper level winds. But if you notice going into Wednesday, Thursday, things kind of lighten up a little bit. The, the wind shear uh, is still strong, but not as much, maybe allowing uh, subtropical, tropical. So, hey, anyway, just wanted to point that out. We do a lot of these little quickies. Obviously, there's nothing to stress about. Actually, it's kind of a good thing. Tropical systems like this could really help the Florida drought situation here. So, like I said, it's weird. Mother Nature always figures out a way to, to um, even things out. In fact, here's a note that was last week's. But here's what the Florida drought situation looks like. Um, with a big part of the state here uh, under uh, severe and uh, lower uh, Florida in extreme. So, orange is severe drought, big part of the state. Moderate drought, almost the whole peninsula. And a little bit of red here. Uh, extreme drought so definitely some welcoming rains uh hopefully we'll see i'll keep an eye on it we'll do we're going to be live uh friday we'll know a lot more by friday uh just wanted to welcome everybody since we're about a month away from these uh daily nhc updates and what i'm talking about with the daily updates these are the maps that get updated at two o'clock and eight o'clock from the nhc anytime we get a new area of interest uh this is um where you'll see that uh, another note here real quick i want to make sure is to show everybody is you know i've always had this area right here on the side of my page mike's weather page spaghettimodels.com but this area right here are all my posts and you can pretty much follow everything that i share um, off of this right here so you know as the tropics heat up it's definitely a spot to go to to keep up with every update every model run and, and everything's in a timeline order so that you don't miss anything sometimes get things get lost in social media you might see something two days ago pop into your feed you know so that's important also you know i do have an app mike's weather page app and uh I, same section we have on there if you go to um i have the daily brew streams live on there then the third button down is mike's post and everything that i post throughout the day pops up and you can follow along 
there too. So if you want more information as we get closer to the season, that's where you go. So that'll do it. All right, so there's, there you have it, folks. We'll keep an eye on it. I'm sure you'll be hearing a little buzz about it. We'll see if it happens or not. I'm thinking there's a chance of something weak, uh, at least some tropical juice to the Florida Peninsula next week. All right, that's it. Have a great day. Thanks for watching us here on YouTube, and uh, see you next time. Bye.